Hey everyone, Nut Free Mama here. Today I'm going to show you how to make a root beer float pie. Okay, let's start off with our ingredients. First you need 3 fourths cup of root beer. So I'm going to use A&W root beer. You can use any kind you want. Then you need a half a cup of milk, a package of the 3.4 ounces of vanilla instant pudding, one 8 ounce tub of some kind of whipped topping or Cool Whip, and then one prepared graham cracker crust. And this is a recipe that you are going to make ahead of time because you need to put it in the freezer for at least 8 hours. And then for decoration, I have some maraschino cherries. All right, in a large mixing bowl, go ahead and pour in your root beer and your milk and whisk that together. All right, now to that, we are going to add our vanilla pudding, and we're just going to stir it until it is all combined with your whisk. Okay, my pudding mixture is starting to thicken up a bit, so I'm going to go ahead and fold in my Cool Whip. Okay, that looks pretty well combined to me, so next I'm going to pour that into my graham cracker crust. Okay, I just used a spatula and kind of smoothed it out, and now I'm going to put the plastic lid that the pie came with, and I'm going to stick that in the freezer, like I said, for at least eight hours or overnight. And just hold off on your cherries because we're going to use those to garnish it after we cut it. Okay, my pie just came out of the freezer. It was there all night and all day today. So I am just going to go ahead and cut into it and then top it off with a little cherry and see what Taste Tester thinks. All right, I cut into my pie. And since it is frozen, I did have to just make a little indent with my finger to put the cherry on. But I think it turned out great. And just so you know, you do store this in the freezer. So let's see what Taste Tester thinks. Hey, taste tester. Go ahead and have a little taste. Okay. It's raining. Yum. Yummy. Do you like it? Yeah. All right, everyone. Come back and see us again. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.